Hi everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to create a modern Sunday poster design in Adobe Photoshop. Create a new document of these dimensions. Set the background color to red. Go to the layer panel and add a blank layer. Select the brush tool, use these settings. And apply it with a white foreground color. And bring down its opacity to 20%. Then go to the type tool and type the text. I am using the Go Bold regular font. Press Ctrl plus T and adjust its size. Right click on it and choose Convert to Smart Object. Select the Rectangle Marquee tool. And make a selection of the day text. Press Ctrl plus J for a copy of it. Press Ctrl plus T. Right click on it and choose flip vertical. Place it here. Right click again and choose perspective and follow me. Add a layer mask to it. Go to the gradient tool, use these settings. And apply. Go to the Rectangle tool and draw a long bar rectangle. Drag it down to the text layer. Hold the Alt button for a copy of it. Follow the process. Select these three layers, press Ctrl plus E to merge them. Add a layer mask to it. Select the brush tool and apply. Now it's time to add an image to the design. Go to the File menu, Place Embedded, select the image, and click on Place. Adjust its size. Go to the Select menu, and Subject. Here, I need some manual selection. I am going to use the Quick Selection tool for it. Add a layer mask to it. Press Ctrl plus J for a copy of it. Select the down layer, right click on the mask and choose Delete Layer Mask. Make a selection of the shadow using the Lesso tool. Press Ctrl plus J. And delete the image layer. Change its blend mode to multiply. Press Ctrl plus L for levels. And follow me.
Add a layer mask to it. And use the brush tool. Finally, add a solid color adjustment layer of gray color. Go to the filter menu and filter gallery. Choose the grain texture with these settings. Change the blend mode to multiply. An opacity to 30%. And that's it. Share your thoughts on this. If there is any question, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching.